Hi Louise, it's Spiral Bright Insight. Just a check-in with the energy, um, with the kind of um, understanding that if I'm experiencing certain things, I'm probably not the only one. Now today is Friday the 3rd of May. Neptune is about to move into the very final degree of the zodiac, that 29 degrees of Pisces. And, you know, we talk about... Um, this anoretic or crisis degree point um, quite frequently, or I certainly do, um, because it is really the point of mastery when everything has been achieved that needs to be achieved and expressed through the energy of the sign and through that planet. But it can often as well bring a sense of overwhelm and crisis just because there can be a rush to complete what anything that hasn't been done now the final degree of the zodiac of the wheel is obviously um about endings of some description and um, it is also very karmic and um, pisces being a very karmic sign um deep water element here neptune being a planet you know that is associated with water as well but both signed and um and planet are very much to do with our sort of um, illusionary world, um, our imagination, our dreams, um, our ability to visualise. And, you know, this is also about um, very strong creativity, compassion, stepping into the void, sort of out from our day-to-day -day mundane um, 3D living and into kind of a, a big like ocean. Neptune is very um, linked to the oceans. So, you know, this is about stepping into um, kind of a way of being that isn't necessarily sort of attached to anything. And I'm talking, I'm bringing this up because I have felt for the past couple of days that I am between worlds, my reality seems changed, altered in many ways. And I'm finding it quite hard to kind of work out what's going on and where I am. Um, you know, I have a very sort of foggy, misty head, which of course is very much um, Neptune in Pisces. Um, but, um, you know, it is kind of from where I'm standing, causing a bit of a disconnect between um, what we would consider to be the real world and perhaps something that is more um, sort of ethereal. But actually it is also bringing our attention to the question, you know, what is real? And, um, you know, what are we trying to hold on to? What have we become super attached to that maybe isn't real? Um, so, you know, if this is something that you're experiencing, you know, and there's also very sort of increased ringing in ears um, changes in appetite, I'm finding I'm not really drawn to do or eat um, the same things that I have been. Um, you know, it's it's quite um, destabilising would be a good way to put it. Um, but, you know, I think the key is just to go with it and not to step into any fear, to accept that things are changing, that are shifting and that we do need to find a new way of being in this um, reality where there is a huge increase of light coming in and the energies and the frequencies and the vibrations are rising and our bodies and our minds are trying really hard to keep up and to adjust and adapt. So, um, we also have, of course, on Sunday, um, the 5-5 five, five Taurus or Bull's Gate, which um, is a really sort of powerful time in the calendar. Now, there are four um, of these gates in the year. They mark the time when the sun moves into 15 degrees of the four fixed signs. So in this case, it is 15 degrees of Taurus. And of course, you know, elsewhere in the year, when the sun moves into 15 degrees of Leo, we have Lion's Gate. 15 degrees of Scorpio, we have Eagle's Gate and 15 degrees of Aquarius, it's known as the Angel's Gate, which takes place in January. So, you know, we are working with the Bull's Gate 
and um, five five being a repeating number. This is very much a time of change, of transformation. The five is all about change. And it's also about that kind of pivot point where, you know, things um, we are ready to take a leap. Um, but we also have the advantage where we can we can see where we've been, but we can also start to see where we are going. And um, so, you know, this is a time the frequencies are absolutely elevated. You know, it is um, in many respects a portal. So we are sort of um, making this transition um, through it's like um, sort of a stepping stone or even a jump in timelines, if you like. Um, but, you know, we have this um, time with the Taurus energy where seeds that we have planted are starting to sprout. So we should be able to see something more tangible coming in. And I talk about this in my May um, update, looking at the energies. But, you know, this Sunday, we are going to have a much higher connection and it's happening already, especially with Neptune in this anoretic degree. We have got a much um, easier and higher connection to um, higher frequencies, to our higher self um, you know it is we're going to be feeling more <laughs> we're going to be seeing more we're going to be knowing more but again just trust it and embrace it and go with the flow don't try and resist it because there is absolutely no point here you know this is a time our creative juices should be flowing we should be feeling much more um at one with everything with all that is and certainly you know we are on the cusp of this huge shift in consciousness and it feels really tangible now so um you know with um the bull's gate this is very much about gifts and talents that are being activated because taurus being um ruled by venus which you know i always associate with gifts and talents so you know but again not just ordinary gifts and talents things that are coming through from other dimensions other frequencies and really shifting us up a gear so um yeah just you know again I always sort of say, go with the flow. Don't try and resist the change. Trust that this is happening for our greatest good, for your greatest good. Um, but also be mindful, you know, that um, there is likely to be feelings of overwhelm, feeling that perhaps you've lost the plot, that you don't really know what reality you're in right now. And again, I think, well, I'm hoping it's not me and I haven't lost the plot. Um, I'm thinking, you know, with this real high frequency and energies, you know, it is part of the process and we are going to get to a point where we adjust, but we are going to adjust to a new normal. You know, we can't go back to what we were or who we were or how we were before. So, you know, we're in this time when everything is shifting and changing and but we have to kind of come back to um a new more stable level but it's going to feel and look very different and i really feel that the taurus energy is going to help us um with that so um that was just a little check-in from me i hope you're well i wish you all the best for the rest of friday and for the weekend ahead um yeah in these very exciting times thanks for watching i'm louise at spiral bright insight